Yeah, I was born in LA. Open eye, feel the waves cut through me. Hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We hope that you guys are having a great day. So for today's video, as you can see by the title of this vlog, we're going to be doing a QA. and a yes. And we decided to kind of spice things up, literally. And we went to our local... Michoacana place? <laughs> yeah. Where they sell, like, you know... I just I just call it botana. Yeah, they sell, um, like, nachos. Sandia. Costi locos, all that stuff. All that stuff, you know, that's been, like, franchise now. Uh... So we said, you know what, let's answer these questions and enjoy a little botana, you know? So I put it in the community section uh, last week for you guys to ask some questions. So I'm just gonna go through them and we're gonna eat it. Let's all just be nosy with each other, you know? <laughs> okay, so first in here there's um, <clears throat> jicama, sandia, uh, <clears throat> cucumber, pepinos, Chamoy, limon, uh, ca cacahuates. cacahuates, which is peanuts, Mexican oh. peanuts, right? They're Japanese. Oh, Japanese. They're good because they're spicy. They're really good. It's huge, guys. Look, it's like literally a big sandia. And it comes with these like candy spoon things, which stuff. I don't like, but. Hold on, I'm gonna go get a, a, a napkin. Real fast. Comes with these, this thing, which is. That's just um, tamarindo. Give me other candies. All right, so. I'm gonna ask the first question and we're just gonna We're just gonna dive into it. Dive in. Like Kendrick Lamar said. Okay, so the first question is what was the biggest mistake you have ever done? I'm gonna show you that on the first day. Okay. I truly think that that like everything happens for a reason and like if something wouldn't have happened in the past, then we wouldn't be here in the present. I mean, yeah, in the present if that makes sense. So like technically there's no mistake. But, I don't know. One mistake that if I wish I could re like do is, and I'll make it quick. In college, I got in a car accident and I assumed that, um, I don't know how to say it. So in college, I got in a car accident and I kind of was like in a lapse between health insurances with my parents and um, I, I don't know what I assumed. I assumed that like the hospital, one of the insurances was gonna take care of the other. And I shouldn't have assumed because now I have like a huge bill that I'll be paying until probably- She's 73. Like 73, I did the math until I'm 73. As long as I make these payments, I'll be done with. So don't <clears> assume, <throat> always call health insurance. Make all sure yeah. you're protected guys. <laughs> yeah, so that would probably be my biggest mistake. Cause I'd be like, thousands of dollars in less debt than I am. <laughs> Just like every other Then we kid. are. <laughs> Girl, that's your dad. Put it over there. <laughs> okay, what's your biggest mistake? My biggest mistake is, um, now that I think about it, since you brought like college years, I wish that I would have been more like dedicated to my, to like my school. Um, especially during, like, my, during my last year in high school. <clears throat> Some of you don't may not know actually, is I didn't graduate on time, you know? And I remember when I got the news, literally the day before final grades, no, the day that final grades were supposed to be submitted in, I was told, Jose, you're not gonna graduate and you're not going to walk with your class. Now that like devastated me, Truth. What is this? It's, it's just chumway. Okay. I mean, tamarindo. <clears throat> now that really like devastated me and it like really, it really set me back um, for quite some time because I just never fathomed, you know, not graduating. Like, I, you know, we all go to school, can't wait to go to high school and then I graduate and like college and all that kind of stuff. So to get the news literally the day of, after I had done all the work that I needed to just barely get a passing grade which at that point you know it was what it was i just wanted to graduate so my mistake was not taking my school seriously um 
you know they they always tell you it it really is impactful in your later years and i believe strongly that it is okay how did you guys meet we actually have a video about this but we met at um amazon a warehouse um we both worked there and then the next question is how do you guys want kids if so how many yes we do want kids there's also a video about that um it's the burger king mukbang so if you guys want answers like deep answers to those questions make sure you go check out those videos but yes we do want kids and i want two i want more than three and we're not trying to be like rude by just like going past to these questions it's just because we've answered these so we want to spend more time on answers that we haven't answered um, yeah we want to spend more time on questions that we haven't answered so but yes we do want kids we do want kids and we met at amazon if you had a girl what would you name it if you had a boy what would you name it as well <clears throat> by the way i love you guys love you too we love you too girl yes girl we love you nayeli yeah. yeah we love you <clears throat> can i answer this one sure so ironically i've always wanted a boy first i think most men do um Wait, but where's that little sauce too? I know you were. Jeez. She yeah. <laughs> She noticed. What is it? It's just the marina. Oh, okay. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's mango. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, so I always I always Oh I guess man. Oh okay. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I always had a name for a girl. What would it be? It was Sophie, honestly. How funny is it that, you know, I meet Abby and then she ends up having yeah, my little sister a sister name Sophie. whose name is Sophie. So, I didn't want to do the whole, like, double play on the name. So, okay. I was like, you know what? Let's find another name. Another name that I do like, though, um, is Serenity. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think Abby's like real fan of it, mm. but there's another name that we, I also love Luna. I love the name Luna. Do you like the name Luna? Yes, but my first name, it's obviously, as you can tell, we haven't really put a lot of thought into it, but um, if it was a girl, I would name her Aria. Because and of Pretty Little like, Liars? Yeah, I love that name and I love that show, but yeah, Aria. But I like Aria Luna, so, mm. yeah. Um, I think we just got the name, girl. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. That's and a great compromise. A boy. I've always loved the name Anthony, <laughs> but I know too many Anthonys now that I wouldn't like it. So, I really love Samuel, which is his little brother's um, name. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't want to name him Samuel. He wants to use no, the middle name. No, it would be Samuel. the middle name, yeah. So haven't decided fully on a boy's name but if it was a girl definitely aria luna oh we just did it so the next question is will you guys be doing any collabs love you guys i mean i'm down for collabs you um, want collab <laughs> collab with another youtuber oh <laughs> i was like we could collab <laughs> we kind of did one um with tough from tough life vlogs yeah check her out she's guys. our she's friend funny. <laughs> yeah she's hilarious um but yeah and then we're always open to collaborations yeah um but you know of course <clears throat> it, it has to work for like, both both people you know location and yeah it's a mutual hard because a lot of people are like all over the yeah. place next question is when you guys have kids in the future do y'all want a son or a daughter love you guys love you too sabrina um actually everyone has said love you so we love you all yeah. um I would want a boy and a girl, but I want the boy to be born first <clears throat> so that he could protect his little sister. I've always wanted a boy, as I mentioned earlier, but now... Don't think you know the sandia, man. It's not. It's in the bottom of me. Okay. Buscala. <laughs> <clears throat> but, you know, with like Chris and Amanda having like Ava and then now Stella and just like the bond, like there's always a, that special bond between a father and a daughter. And... It's very sweet. So now, either way, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be a blessing. We're gonna love them yeah, or her. Healthy, but I'm not as like, oh, it wasn't a boy. You know, like if it's a girl, that'd be sweet too. 
Okay, so the next question is, how or where do you see yourselves in five years? And how many subscribers do you think you're gonna have in five years? Please answer, love you so much. Love you to lose world. Um, in the next five years, well no, in five years, one, the first thing is I really, 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 really hope that there's a cure for cystic fibrosis. Um, because that would solve a lot. Um, I hope to see us with kids in five years. Um, just healthy, happy, our family's doing good. Um, hopefully we would have a million subscribers. <clears throat> Don't let it just be wishful thinking. Put it yeah. Up. And in five years we'll have a million, more than a million subscribers. Mm -hmm. And everyone will know about Sister <clears throat> yeah. For me, I actually do have like a five year plan. <clears throat> I want to be in a position by career wise where my money is working for me. In addition to that, I definitely would love to be homeowners in the next five years, uh, hopefully sooner, but it's still within you know that five year plan. <clears throat> of course, I have a family. What else? I'm gonna write a book. Now that I actually said it out loud and on video, I have to do it. I've been saying I've been wanting to write a book for the longest. And like I mentioned earlier, I'm a procrastinator. I say I'm gonna do something and I sometimes do it, but then I stop. It would be really great if I could like actually write my book, once I write my book and maybe go through publishing, you know? That's a mess. <clears throat> but again, share my story and again, bring more awareness to cystic fibrosis. And as far as YouTube goes, look, <clears throat> the sky's the limit. Mm -hmm. If I if if I say this, that, no, like, as long as we're growing, that's, we're winning by that, you know? And yeah, it would be great to get to a point too where we, have the liberty to just do YouTube, you know, mm -hmm. and enjoy each other. <clears throat> so, hey, put it out there in existence and it's gonna happen. Our goal right now is to get to 100K mm -hmm. ASAP. Mm -hmm. So tell everybody. Because think about it. The more people know about CF, the faster there's a cure for CF. Which means thousands of people are being helped. Which means thousands of people are being helped. Which means all of you who tell your mom, your aunt, your sister, your father, <clears throat> uncles, aunts about cystic fibrosis and spreading the word, you can literally make a difference. Yeah. So, it's pretty cool. Okay. <clears throat> can you speak Spanish? What country are you originally from? So we were both born here. Yeah, I was born in LA. Let's <laughs> <laughs> make myself too hard. I was born in San Bernardino. Oh, yeah. I can fully understand Spanish. I could get myself out of a life or death situation. <laughs> I literally understand it all. Like, I understand it. But speaking it is a different story. I could. I speak it, but it's not like fluent, fluent, like, like he does. Since I've been married to him, yes, I'll admit, I've gotten a lot better, but I can't speak it fluently yet. <laughs> the next question is by Jackie Jew. Did you ever have a wet fart? Love you guys. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I um, have. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Especially when you're sick, that's the worst. I don't have them often, but when I'm sick. Ew! Okay. How old are you guys? I'm 27, right? Yeah, 27. Yeah. I'm 25, going on 26. Okay, so, meet and greet. That's the next question, for sure. We just have to figure out the details. Um, the next question is... Let's meet and greet in the, in the, in the food area, though. So we can eat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next question is, are you upset that you didn't get to play for the basketball giveaway? Do you think it was fair? Or, for those of you who don't know what this question is talking about, they're talking about the Ace Family giveaway. Um, do you think it was fair as the people who were invited to play were all big YouTubers and didn't need the money as much as you guys? Are you planning to have any kids? So yeah, we answered that question. And me personally, 
still love the Ace Family, but um, in the video that they made, for me, it wasn't clear. Like they kind of explained in like the video after the event or the video of the event that it was for big YouTubers. To me, it kind of seemed like it was for their subscribers. Um, maybe I understood it wrong. I just didn't get that or else we wouldn't have, you know, made the video. Am I upset? No. Um, do I think they should still do one for their subscribers? Yes. Um, and if they don't, it's okay. <clears throat> they still are, you know, helping by giving money to charity. But yeah, I mean, we weren't like, we hate the Ace family because of, you know, like, no. But when we did see the video and like, everyone who was in the game, I was like, wait, I thought it was for our subscribers. Yeah. But. Was it like a bummer? Sure, because I mean, I did. We did go and like buy a basketball. I'm and, not sure trying to do that. <clears throat> careful. We, again, babe. We did go and like you know buy a basketball, and we're just like, all right, let's do it. And we literally got the camera and like did it. Came back home and she edited and like she put it up. But honestly, man, it is what it is. Now, on the bright side, it was more content for you guys. It was another vlog that you guys were able to enjoy. So yeah. that's just the way I see it. You got to see his basketball is. skills. Yeah, I'm got to see you two Smurfs trying to get a basketball down, as Chris Speak said. Speak for yourself. <laughs> the next question is, what would you do with a million dollars? What, what would, would I do with a million dollars? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> first and foremost, before anything, I probably would like plan this like major, major, like monthly <laughs> get away for Abby. Oh. <laughs> I'm all, what you about to say first and no, foremost? No, 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 Like, you know, massage every day. You know, well, obviously, Manny and Patty, you know, that's like a weekly or bi-weekly basis. But just pamper her, you know, for all the stuff that she's like done for me and that she continues to do. And I feel like I owe it to her to put her first for, you know, Literally, for all that she's done, you know. And then, of course, after that, we get to reality. You're so sweet. I know. Um, but, you know, like, definitely, for sure, we've already talked about it, is do our part as far as, like, donating to the foundation. Yeah, we would but definitely give one thing to that I've always wanted to do is I'd rather, the whole donating to charity is great. Create your own foundation? Well, no, in addition to that, like, I want to be personal. I want to go to reach out to hospitals, you know, which I've tried to do twice, so it just hasn't worked out, and see what patients are there, like CFers, and try to surprise them randomly with, you know, speak to the parents and say, hey, what is your son or daughter like, you know? Yeah. And take them out, you know, not obviously not us, but like make sure that them and their family are taken care of, because they did that to, for me and my brother once, you know, for Christmas, and in addition to Christmas, someone in our team just randomly blesses and, uh, just say yeah. hey this is for you definitely give back um, I would buy a house yeah buy a house for sure pay off all my debt and then I would buy actually pay off like help my family you know like I don't know if if the million well at first I would find a way to make the million more money <laughs> yeah that's what I'm saying and then I would buy houses Invest. for my family that's members and pay their stuff off yeah. And that way we'd all be debt free. <laughs> invest. That's always going to be something that I'm always wanting. When, when I have leverage with my with our money, yes, I'm going to invest. Okay. Next question is, what is your favorite childhood game? I really love Trouble. <clears throat> Are we talking about like 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 a board game? Oh well, I'm. Picking if it's a board game, game, Candyland. But no, no, no. You know, what? I take it back. Chess. I love chess. <laughs> okay. You think I'm a nerd or something? No. <laughs> You think I'm a dork? Mm -hmm. I'm just picturing you at nine years old with Sammy playing chess. <laughs> yeah, I was in competitions, like in school. What is your favorite childhood movie? <clears throat> I don't know. I have a lot. I have so many. Yeah, I, if, if we want to, I, I, I love horror movies, so I love all the Michael Myers movies. Uh, more so the original, but I have too many movies to to to, to to choose and it just depends on the genre you know comedy uh, various but i guess if i can think of something like 
that just stands out always is going to be the Sandlot and the Little Rascals. I don't know. I have to think about it and like maybe I'll answer it in another video because I have so many. Next question is, are you planning to move when you have a baby? Um, probably not because we have an extra room in this house. Mm -hmm. Definitely we wouldn't have been able to have a kid in our old house, but for sure in this house. The next question is, can we be friends? We already are friends, girl. Um, and I really want to meet you guys. Would it be possible to meet at a mall or a public place? Girl, tell me the time. Love you too. We would definitely love to meet you guys. Like, yeah. We're always down and open to yeah, the time. For sure. How old were you guys when we met? I was 20. I don't know how old it was. Oh, then I was 22. You were 22, babe. Right, yeah. Okay, so we're going to do another Q&A because there's a lot of questions on here and um, Instagram. And it's a really long video. <laughs> I don't want it to be a really long video. But, so this will be the first part. Um, the last question that we're going to answer is how much does the lung transplant cost? Which is... <laughs> Okay, if you Google how much is a lung transplant, literally, if you Google it, over a million dollars. Yes. <laughs> the cost for one lung, a single lung, is in 2017, $861,000. Almost $862,000. Help a brother out. So his insurance is going to pay for some of it. We don't know if they will pay for all of it. Um, that's why we have a GoFundMe going. But yeah, guys, it's expensive. The way the medical system is set up, it's, it's like crazy. Just this morning. It's wrong. All for like five hours we were dealing with Insurance. a medication that is going to, might cost us. $700. Yeah, for a copay. <clears throat> that's the copay. $700 copay. For one of his medications. And this isn't just like a, you know, like vitamin that I can. No, just, it's something that he, it's he needs. It's part of my routine and I take it twice a day. It's crazy. So they only cover for up to one. Now they're still trying to figure things out because I haven't had to pay before for that. Yeah. So I really hope that we can figure so it pray, out. So pray, please, because. And come to the bottom of this. Your girls don't got $700. <clears throat> your boy don't got nothing either, girl. <laughs> you better get a work. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so it just got it just goes to show that you know being sick is not sucks. It's it, it 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 sucks and it's expensive unfortunately. But guys, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry if it was a little long. I'm gonna try and shorten it down. But before we go, we can't end today's video without giving the shout out. So today's shout out goes to Angie Mendoza. Thank you so much for subscribing, girl. We appreciate you and we love you so much. Now, if you guys want to shout out the next video, it's really simple, guys. All you have to do is make sure you subscribe to the Not Ready Life. Make sure you hit that post notification bell so you never miss a video. Give this video a big thumbs up, like, comment, and that's all you guys have to do. But guys, <laughs> but guys, we hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and we will see you tomorrow. Peace. Bye. I still fit in my mouth. So who cares? <laughs> and we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye. Peace.